Hello pumpkins, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Amy and I like eating pomegranate and watching Netflix. Today we're going to be creating this fierce jewelled siren mermaid look. Before we get started though, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, become a member of the pumpkin family and let's have some fun. So first we're going to really heavily glue down our eyebrows with washable glue stick, really nice and flat because we're going to be gluing stuff over the top of them later on. Now we're going to paint the face, ears, neck and chest all completely white with white face paint. I'm doing this because it gives a nice base and gives the other colours that we'll be adding on top a nice pastel-y kind of effect. Now we're going to go in with a few different shades of blues and greens and over each of the colours I'm going over it again with a clean sponge to diffuse the colour and soften the edges. Now to finish that neckline nicely, I'm painting a downward point with a teal face paint. And now I'm taking a slightly darker blue to somewhat contour the chin and frame the face and blend it down towards that point. Then I noticed that the point on my chest needed sharpening up a little, so I'm using some white face paint to do that and just sharpening up those edges. Right, now those edges are nice and sharp, we're going to go in with our darker blue face paint and we're going to draw in some little scales. So I'm doing one row of scales at the top and then underneath we're going to do another one but slightly offset from the first layer and then we're going to keep going down, slightly offsetting each one until the whole section is filled up. We're going to take some lighter blue face paint and we're going to water it down quite a lot and we're going to run that over the scales and just let it drip down. Now let's move on to the face. We're going to take our dark blue and we're going to draw another downward point on the chin, a really small one this time, and then we're going to extend upwards to meet the lip line with a teal whilst blending down into the blue. Now we're going to take some royal blue eyeshadow and we're going to go over the whole of the eyelid area, followed by some teal eyeshadow in the crease, and I'm doing this all with a fluffy brush, the same brush to do both colours, so that it's nice and soft and nice and dispersed and nice and blended together. Now we're going to add a little bit of purple onto the lower lash line and connect at the outer corner with our blue eyeshadow again. I'm also using the blue and teal eyeshadows to suggest some contouring around the cheekbones and the nose followed by a good dose of a white toned highlighter. Now we're going to take some silver pigment mixed with just a little bit of water and we're going to paint a horseshoe or crescent shape between the eyebrows and we're also going to suggest some gill type shapes along the cheekbones and I'm just following the shape of my cheek contour to create those gills. And then we're going to take our same silver mixture and we're going to draw a line from the inner corner of the eye curving just above the natural crease. Side note, if you don't have a natural crease you can choose where you want this line to go. And then we're going to turn sharply back inwards at the outer edge to meet the outer corner of the eye. Then we're going to use some glitter eyeliner I'm using a silver one but you can use whatever colour you want and we're going to go over the top of that silver line. 
Then we're going to line the water lines with a white pencil and then coat the lower lashes with a white liquid eyeliner. You can use a white mascara if you can find one as well, it's just that I didn't have one at the time. Now we're going to take some blue liquid eyeliner and make one big dot inside our crescent shape as a centre point and then we're going to make some little blue freckles around the nose. Right, now for a bit of glitter. I'm putting a bit of lash glue on the purple eyeshadow and then over the top of that we're going to dab on some very fine purple glitter. So now we're going to create some sparkly eyebrows. I got these strings of self-adhesive jewels from the craft store and I've cut them to size to fit my eyebrows and then I'm applying them with a little bit of liquid latex or you can use eyelash glue if you have any. Now you'll need to remove this with a makeup remover oil or baby oil. Just a quick heads up so that you don't accidentally wax your eyebrows off. <laughs> to accent the eyes we're going to stick on a single jewel at the inner corners and then we're going to go even more crazy with jewels. These ones are also from the craft store and I really love the odd shapes and the weird different angles that you can put them at. It really adds to that underwater kind of feel to the design. Oh yeah, and I'm sticking them on with liquid latex as well. So now we curl the lashes and apply some black mascara before applying some big false lashes to the top and bottom eyelashes. the lips with a blue liner pencil. This one's actually an eyeliner but hey a liner pencil's a liner pencil in the pumpkin patch. So we're going to apply some black liquid lipstick to the corners of the mouth and then some blue liquid lipstick to the rest of the lips blending as we go into that black. And then while that's still wet, we're going to apply some chunky green glitter to, you know, mermaid it up a little bit. Now for me personally, I wanted the drips down the scales to be a little bit more prominent and a little bit bolder. So I'm just making those a little bit more colourful and adding a couple more of them. Followed by highlighting a few of the scales with some of our silver pigment to finish off. And then I just added a long wig and my blackhead contact lenses by Edit and this is the finished piece. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys, if you did please drop me a like and become a member of the pumpkin family. Thanks so so much for watching guys, I love you very much and I'll see you in the next video.